Good morning, friends. This is Carolyn Holland, and I'm just going to share a short little um, video with you from my garden. So, um, first of all, I want you to notice my weeds. I'm sure you have weeds like this. We had a really big rain. We got three and a half inches, and my weeds around my raised garden are huge. About a month ago, I completely cleaned out this garden of weeds and now look at it. So weeding, as you know, is a never ending job. And so I wanted to show you this because most of the time we take care of weeds by weed eating them. But the next rain, they grow back like what I just showed you. This morning though, I'm doing a different kind of cleaning. I want you to look at this. Here, I'm using that hound doggy thing to twist and get at the root of the matter. And you can see that I pulled out lots of weeds by the roots. First one I pulled up is really big. Look at that. Huge root systems. And of course, we all know that if we have huge root systems and we have those roots there, as soon as it rains, it'll grow again. Now I've pulled these up by the roots and that will keep them down for a while. But maybe in six months or so after good rain, the little bitty roots that were still left in the ground will grow my weeds up again. So why am I sharing this with you? Well, I have a reason. And the reason is this. Weeds represent um, sin and sinfulness and the work of the enemy in our lives. As we work in the garden, we pull out the weeds. As the Holy Spirit works in our lives, he tries to weed out the weeds of sin. Many times we just cut off the symptoms. We just, okay, well, I'll stop doing that. But then pretty soon we start again. And we wonder, well, why can't I get, why can't I get victory over this? particular sin and the reason is that you haven't uprooted it it has to be uprooted by full um, repentance deep mourning over your sin and asking the Lord Jesus to pull that sin out by its root sometimes the root is connected to um, commitments we've made in the past to to sinful things sometimes they're connected to demonic influences that have come in and set up camp in our in our um, lives whatever it is we need to seek the Holy Spirit seek seek God and ask him to show us what the root of that problem is so that it can be rooted out and destroyed out of our lives so that sin will no longer reign over us and no longer um, mess up the beautiful garden that God is trying to grow in our lives anyway just some thoughts from my garden this morning so I will let you go and I will get back to my weeding bye